Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. I have to admit I'm a kind of cheap China servo freak for my RC trucks. In RC trucks I really do enjoy the building process and painting bodies, weathering, scaling, lighting more than driving and therefore I'm, as Chris Robinson from GCM Racing says, 100 bucks for all electronics in the car is that's okay for me and that's why I did already buy a ton of cheap China servos. I searched all my cars now and my spare boxes and I found 16 different types of China servos, I, standard, standard servos, not micro or heli servos. I do have and of some of those I do even have more than one and for me all those work fine so far. Um, some of those are well used, some are only brand new in my spare box because I bought them because they were so cheap. There was some promotion or whatever. And so far all of those have done really well for me. And I do not need the highest performance in my trucks. I never would use such cheap servos in my RC helis. That's a totally different story, but in my trucks it's fine for me. I don't need the best and highest performance. And why do we all like those 20 kilogram or whatever servers so much? Because they are so cheap. That's starting with those super cheap MG995 servers. I have a couple of those. They are 5 bucks and they work fine. I use one, for example, in my Tamiya Beetle. It's okay and I use one in as shifting servo in my Crawler EX, my 3 Racing and they are okay and most of the other servos here I numbered them from 1 to 16 are in the 10 to 20 bucks region. The most expensive ones are about 30 bucks but prices differ as you know you have to check the web for the best prices. For example, I paid for my DS3225SG servo. The, I did already make a video about this servo about one year ago, only 13 or 14 bucks. And it's waterproof, it's high voltage, it works fantastic, but actually the, the price is higher. It's more than 20 US dollar or the very first of those servos some years ago that was this, at least here in Europe, really popular Power HD LW20MG waterproof. It was some years ago, I guess that's the first of those 20 kilogram standard servos I've bought some years ago. It was about 20 bucks and actually it's more than 30. And there was the second type the non-waterproof type, the Power HD LF20MG. I did also buy it some years ago. It's I guess it's not available anymore now. So that's my order of prices as the prices are now today. But you have to check the web, check uh, eBay, Amazon, check your local dealer. Those Power HD servers, at least, they are available here at hobby shops, local hobby shops here in Europe too, so you can support your local hobby shops. What we are all mostly interested in, factory and descriptions are always telling partly unbelievable numbers, how much those servos can pull the torque 20 kilograms, 15 kilograms, 25, 30 kilograms, and nobody knows if that's really true. So there have been some servo tests on the internet, few from RC Review for example, or from ExoCaged RC. I did test this servo already about one year ago, but uh, with a little bit of different setup, it worked fine. And I thought, okay, what we all want to know, how much can they really pull, really? How high is the torque? And that's why I refined my setup from last year a little bit and 
that's the setup I will use to test the torque of the servos. It's a simple cheap luggage scale, a servo tester and the mounting system and I will use this metal servo arm and this pin is exactly one centimeter uh, distance from the center of the servo and servo torque should be measured in newton meter or newton centimeter that would be the correct unit but uh, in RC world nobody does it's measured in kilogram centimeter or in ounces inch and that way I can easily measure kilogram centimeter and for our American friends I will convert those two ounces inch and those are the values I will check in all of those 16 servos and additionally I will power the servos with my lab power supply I will check the amp draw and here you can see a list of my 16 servos because my YouTube videos mostly are far too long I won't test all servos in one video I will make five videos of this servo test series testing four servos in one video and making a final video comparing all the data. I will test the servos on 6 volt, what's the most widely used uh, voltage in BECs and you see on the list there are also some high voltage servos. I will test those also on 7.4 volt. 7.4 volt is quite widely used because uh, many BECs of ESCs can provide 7.4 volt for example the hobby wing quick run 1080 and you see on the list there are some servos waterproof most are not waterproof what I will do I will make this quick test with the scale three times check the torque of the servos and I will disassemble each servo take a look inside how well they are built, if they are waterproof, I will check the o-rings, I will check if the gears are lubricated and I will make a, a very very short test with the radio to check the noise of the servos and how they do perform, if they are loud or not, if they are shivering or not. And in this video, in the first video, we will start with the servos number 1, 2, three and four the first servo is the super cheap lofty ambition mg995 plastic case and only a pushing but full metal gears and quite well greased so well greased inside Phillips head screws and it works. Who will complain about the 5 part server? It does its job quite well. It's specified to 7.2 volt. Here I check the torque at 6 volt. 9.8 kilograms, 137 ounces inch, 9.8 kilograms, 136 ounces inch, and 9.6 kilograms, 134 ounces inch. And now I test it on 7.2 volt, it's specified up to 7.2 volts. Nine kilograms, about 151 ounces inch. 10.9 kilograms again, and about 151 ounces inch again. And finally, 
10.6 kilograms, about 147 ounces inch. So it's far from 15 kilograms, 208 ounces inch, but it works quite nicely and about 10 kilograms, that's okay. But also check the amp draw, it uh, draws about 2 amps at 6 volts, so a 2 amp BC will be sufficient to get the full power of this servo. And the second servo is the JXPDI 5521MG. Does already come with ball bearing, but still full plastic case, full metal gears, but those gears seem not to be greased. And of course it also comes with uh, Philips head screws. And it also works. You can check the noise the servo makes during working and how well it responds here. But of course I can't really measure the servo speed. And it makes uh, 11.4 kilograms, about 159 ounces inch at 6 volts and 11.0, 154 ounces inch and finally 10.9 kilograms, 152 ounces inch. So you see it's far from its specifications with uh, 20 kilograms at 6 volts more than 280 ounces inch and check the amp draw it draws about 3 amps so you will need a strong BC for getting the full power of this servo and servo number 3 is the JX PDI 6221MG it has a center case out of metal that's the difference to the 5221MG and the metal gears are greased in this servo at least in mine their servo gears arrived with grease inside the other specifications are the same as in the 5221MG it also works and it draws 12 kilograms 107 ounces inch at 6 volt and 13 kilograms 182 ounces inch and finally about 30 kilograms 180 ounces inch again so it's also far off its specifications with more than 20 kilograms and check the amp draw it draws more than 3 amps so you will need a 3 amp BC at least to get the full power out of this servo and servo 4 is the Racer Star DS6221 MG it does have the same specifications as the two JX servos also does have a center part out of metal full metal gears come greased at least with a little bit of grease inside and of course it also works test 10.1 kilograms 140 ounces inch ten kilograms one hundred thirty eight ounces inch and nine point nine kilograms one hundred thirty seven ounces inch it drew about three amps so a little bit less than its brother the JX6221MG but you will also need 
to use a 3 amp back to get the full power of this servo and of course it was also far away from its specifications more than 20 kilograms 282 ounces inch it didn't bring half of it so that's it for part one of my China servo test in part two I will test the Racerstar DC6215 MG and the SPT servo SPT4412 LV and the DS servo DS3218 MG the first waterproof servo in these tests and the SPT servo SPT5435 LV Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, I'll be back.